Truth Is Out There includes nine international and New Zealand artists, um, and that includes Ronnie Van Hout, Brett Graham, Rachel Rackena, uh, Hani Armanius, Naida Kalatzorens, Joe Merrill, uh, Carolyn Borum, Emil McAvoy, and Peter Stitchbury. All of these artists have different fascination with UFOs or aliens, but really underneath it all, they're looking at what constitutes truth and belief and how we come to our conclusions about the things that we believe in the universe. Peter Stitchbury has included four portraits in the exhibition, and each of them is a portrait of a witness to a famous UFO incident from around the world. In 1978, New Zealand experienced one of the most famous UFO cases in the world, and this was the Kaikoura Lights incident. And so Ronnie Van Hout was really fascinated with this footage that was actually taken, some of the most famous footage of UFOs in the world at the time. So he's taking this as this really significant moment in New Zealand history where science fiction crosses over into the realm of reality. Ursat's Alien was an early work that he made from 2003, which shows this, this alien creature wearing um, childhood pajamas and this plaque around his neck that says forget. And it's a little bit tongue in cheek. So what's really interesting about Carolyn Borum's work is that she's delved really deeply into Archives New Zealand and their actual UFO files, which the New Zealand government opened up in 2012. And in it, she came to a really interesting conclusion, is that where other cultures might see something flying in the sky and immediately jump to aliens, that New Zealanders really were looking for a very pragmatic or practical answer to that question. Was it a weather balloon? Was it Venus? What are the, what are the practical things before we jump to the extraterrestrial and the paranormal? In 1964, one of the most famous alien abduction cases took place in rural New Hampshire in the United States, and that was the Betty and Barney Hill abduction. And in order to prove their story, Betty and Barney Hill went through a whole bunch of different hypnosis sessions and sessions with different psychologists. And the artist Joe Merrill has actually gotten his hand on some of the real recordings from some of these hypnosis sessions with the Hills. And so this has been the basis of his work, um, where you can actually lay back on a psychiatrist's couch and listen to some of these hypnosis recordings as you're looking into this big eye that has all of these very hypnotic um, visual imagery. Joe Merrill's Abduction Perfume is a collaboration he did with perfumist Saskia Wilson-Brown. And the two of them researched uh, different abduction experiences and the smells that abductees had reported during their abduction experience. And they worked together to make this very wearable scent that you can actually smell in the, in the exhibition. And those audience members who are brave enough to pick up the phone may or may not hear the strange alien sounds on the other end of the line. Brett Graham and Rachel Rackena's UFO B is a reboot of a work that they made originally for the 2006 Sydney Biennale. And Brett Graham has carved a fleet of alien spaceships that hang from the ceiling of the gallery. And within them, embedded in these portholes, is Rachel Rackena has made a series of video works which look at Pacific migration. And the title of this work is UFO B, which is uh, together UFO mixed with the very derogatory slang FOB for fresh off the boat. And their work really speaks to the ethics around Pacific migration and our treatment of people from other cultures. And it looks at it under this lens of alien colonization and invasion and the way that we think about um, ideas of beings coming from other places or planets. If you've been seeing any unexplained lights in the sky or experiencing lost time, you can come check out The Truth Is Out There at the Douse, which is on until August 14th.